So, your favorite VTuber agency has just finished hosting auditions, and now it's time for a new group of talents to get ready to debut. So what the hell are they actually doing? First things first, these new soon-to-be VTubers need identities. If the company already has ideas for who they want their next wave to be, this step will go by pretty quick, but if the talents get a lot of say on how they want to present themselves, like I did, the first order of business is choosing a theme, a name, a color, stuff like this. The new generation of VTubers will generally only meet each other once everyone's got a name to go by, but now they can all start to get to know each other while the real struggle begins. Debut prep! Planning your stream, making and ordering assets, creating a lore video. It doesn't sound like a lot, it is. Plus, don't forget the additional hours of work if you're doing, say, a cover at the same time or if the company is planning a debut match. For me, this process took place over three to four months. I assume it did, at least, because when your debut is three months away, it feels like three years, and when it's next week, it feels like a near-death experience. But companies might also choose to hold off on debuting new talents even when they're ready, just so they can get a really good date to debut on. There's no point in releasing a bunch of new VTubers when someone else in the company is having an anniversary next week. Ah, to go back to those pre-debut times where nobody knew I was British, aside from my co-workers who, even to this day, make fun of my accent constantly. Those were the days.